Now, if you're not aware, it's been a busy week for China. They not only got cut ties with the Houston Rockets and are trying to, I don't know, ban the NBA. They've had a busy week. They've also banned South Park for offending them. Can't be offending China. Removed it from all sites that stream it. Stop carrying it everywhere for an episode called Banned in China. That, of course, mocks cow towing to China. That's banned B-A-N-D. China banned South Park after critical episode. South Park's creators troll them hard. That's the Daily Wire. Now, this episode is all about uh, Randy Marsh, Stan's dad, trying to do business in China. He gets on an airplane and realizes that everyone's going to China as well to try to do business there. There's Disney people you can see behind me. There's Thor. There's Star Wars. There's Iron Man in the background. Anything related to Disney and, and Marvel and things like that. Now, he goes there, he's got a bunch of weed he's trying to sell, he gets arrested, realizes all this stuff happens, and uh, at the same time, the kids are, are doing a biopic for their band that they've started, and in order to be able to sell it to China, which is where they're promised all the money's going to come from, they have to adhere to Chinese censorship. That's the gist of the episode, it's pretty good. However, after the episode was banned, South Park issued their own apology, kind of like the NBA, but just a little different. Official apology to China from Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Like the NBA, we welcome the Chinese censors into our homes and into our hearts. We too love money more than freedom and democracy. She doesn't look like Winnie the Pooh at all. Tune into our 300th episode this Wednesday. Long live the great Communist Party of China. May this autumn's sorghum fest harvest be bountiful. We good now, China? Now, a couple things to explain there that I wasn't aware of, so maybe you weren't of. Sorghum is a cereal grain that China buys a heck of a lot from the United States. In fact, they made their largest purchase of it just recently. And as for President Xi looking like Winnie the Pooh, this is a real meme that the, me the episode mentions. In the episode, Winnie the Pooh and, uh, what's the, and Piglet, I was going to say, what's the pig's name? What's the pig's name? It's Piglet. South Park mentions this, and that actually got Winnie the Pooh and in China. So, so here are some of the memes of President Xi looking like Winnie the Pooh and that has got poor Winnie and his search for honey banned in China. Now South Park has been around for 22-ish years, I think, the late 90s. They've almost always tackled, tackled issues fairly and from both sides evenly, in my opinion. I can't think of ones where they haven't. Personally, even when, that I've, when I've disagreed with their conclusion or their message, I still have to say that it's fair. I mean, the representation of Hillary versus Trump was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. But how sad is it that we can trust cartoon makers, guys who have made movies such as Basketball and Orgasmo, we can trust them to have more integrity than a huge organization like NBA that employs people from all around the world and widely credits itself as being universal for everyone and imploring their employees and personnel to give their personal opinions and we stand for their opinions and their voices and their ability to speak their mind and everything that comes with it unless it's about China of course and how sad we can trust South Park to South Park doesn't go around saying that they're full of integrity and that they believe in everybody and support everybody's opinion but the NBA does and they can't even do that when it comes to China. When it comes to the freedoms in Hong Kong, we're not allowed to talk about that. South Park also released this promotional GIF regarding the episode, uh, which basically surmises what I was saying about the episode, how they need to kowtow to, to the Chinese censors. In one scene, they're trying to write a movie script and a Chinese military general is standing over his shoulder and uh, scratching out everything that he writes. It's pretty funny. But I guess the counter to that argument would be South Park has more than enough FU money, if you want to call it that, hundreds of millions of dollars. They could stand to lose money from China, but can't the NBA as well? It's a sport, and eventually people are going to, people in China are eventually going to want the NBA. So this is where I think the NBA fails. Eventually China would have to work with them ev anyway. It happens in everything. It happened in Russia with working with the NHL. Russia hates, obviously, everybody else. So they wanted to do, they have their own league, just like China has their own basketball league, but it's not the same. It's not the NBA, it's not the NHL. If Major League Soccer, North America's uh, soccer league, cut ties with the rest of the soccer world, which is essentially what China's doing, because the rest of the, 
basketball word, world goes through the NBA. There's a Spanish league and there's an Italian league, but it's not the same. If the Major League Soccer Association cut ties with FIFA, eventually there would be enough outcry where they have to work with them again because American soccer is not going to survive on its own through its own popularity. Just like China, basketball is not going to survive on their own. Sorry, the international game of China, <laughs> of basketball, especially pertaining to the NBA, uh, doesn't need China. China needs them. Just like the international community for soccer doesn't need the United States soccer team or league, the inverse needs them. Now, China's cards that they have to play in these business dealings are having a lot of people. Like Saudi Arabia has oil. This causes people to do business with them because there's a lot of money to be had. Saudi Arabia, there's a lot of oil to be had. China, there's a lot of people to market and sell things to. So long as you adhere to their beliefs and you don't criticize them. You can't criticize how horrible Saudi Arabia is to women because we want their oil or we want to sell weapons to them. You can't criticize China for how they treat their people or for how they treat Hong Kong because we want to use their people. We want to sell things to them. Hopefully this is a, hopefully this is a bit of a wake-up call for people, though in both sports and media, and maybe there'll be some younger people that see the type of things that their favorite athletes stand up for. It's for the money, it's for the Benjamins. Colin Kaepernick isn't standing up to anybody for free. He certainly is not. There's too much kowtowing to co countries like this, and the world is not going to change if people just look the other way when it suits them best, when money is the common denominator here. And just like South Park, it's an exchange for freedom. You're shutting up in exchange for freedom, in exchange for money. And if we could all, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this, if we could all be a little bit more like South Park and stick to our guns, then things might actually change. Mm -hmm.